Continuing driving from Kansas to California. More questions for Grandmaster Carlos Silva. I'm Snake Blocker. We just hosted our 24th annual Jeet Kune Do and Affiliated Arts Seminar. Uh, next question for Grandmaster. So, when the average person out there, not a, not a well-trained martial artist in a lot of different different fields, when they hear the word martial arts in Brazil in the same sentence, the majority of people out there, especially the UFC fanatics, they're gonna say, oh, first thing pops in my head is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Stuff that doesn't pop in their head might be kickboxing, capoeira, judo, uh, native uh, traditional arts, double machete weapons. You know, spend the next two or three minutes, uh, Grandmaster, and talk about what are some of the top martial artists. There's probably hundreds of them, and what are the, the top uh, martial arts taught in Brazil that have a very large following? Well, my friend, uh, uh, and I'm going to just, uh, uh, I, I'm not correcting, I'm just saying that uh, uh, even though they say that uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is one of the, uh, that the first thing that comes in the mind is because Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was, they're the ones that start UFC. You know, Royce Gates did the, that and he was a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy and he put his brother, uh, the Royce, uh, I'm sorry, Rodian uh, started, <laughs> and the Royce uh, uh, was the brother that decided to 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 actually put the family uh, 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 to the test with those martial arts. They start challenging people around, uh, and the, then uh, that evolved to mixed martial art, right? So, but if you look today, uh, we cannot say that uh, just Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu exists on the on on the UFC. If you look, uh, if you look at UFC today, we have, for example, Lioto Machida. He is not from uh, 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 Jiu-Jitsu. He's actually uh, Karate, Shotokan Karate. If you look, for example, for Anderson Silva. He is not a jiu-jitsu guy, he is from Thai boxing, matter of fact, he's part of the Rudy Maferdigo shoot box in Brazil. Yep. So shoot box is very, very famous in Brazil, it's uh, in a state called Paraná, Paraná state. And uh, they have a good follow, a great follow, a big follow there. When they do a, a belt examination uh, in, in Paraná, uh, I'm talking about 2,000 to 3,000 people doing a, bla a black belt examination in Thai boxing. So that shows you that it's not only Gracie and uh, that have this, uh, this power uh, uh, about, uh, about UFC. But uh, also, remember that if you do UFC, MMA, uh, you, you, you are going to be related with what the Graces did because they are special on fighting on the floor. Uh, uh, there is no doubt in my mind that if you go to the floor, uh, they have the best techniques to win uh, and it's been proven over and over and over. But uh, the, uh, today, in Brazil, Thai box is very high Every single studio have a Thai boxing uh, 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 instructor. They eventually have somebody from kickboxing, but kickboxing is not uh, in the high levels anymore because uh, politics among the masters of kickboxing. So we're trying to bring that back by link uh, PKA and uh, American instructors and grandmasters to Brazil to put kickbox back on the road. Real but quick. So explain for the audience that is not familiar with PKA, what the acronym stands for and how long they've been around. PKA means Professional Kickboxing Association. They have been around since 1974 and they did the first professional tournament of kickboxing full contact. They call karate full contact. Some people call them Killer Karate, because when they did here in America, when they start, some people died participating in those tournaments. But uh, uh, it's a very uh, secure uh, uh, sport, and uh, today it's comparable to Thai boxing. Uh, even though Thai boxing uh, is more popular right now, uh, kickboxing is going to come to the world, uh, not only through me, but also for this link between the United States and uh, and uh, in Brazil. Great. Uh, and then talk more about, you know, the 
the, the you know relating to the weapons. Tell us about the weapon arts that are among the Brazilian martial arts. That All are right. More well known. Brazilian martial arts they do have uh, weapons. Uh, the most important martial arts it's called a legitimate Brazilian martial arts. Uh, it's not uh, uh, it's not Gracie's because the jiu-jitsu was already invented in Japan. So one, when Matsu Maeda went to Brazil, he taught the Brazilian the, the Japanese way of jiu-jitsu, and uh, Helio Gracie just adapt uh, 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 the Gracie's or, or the the jiu-jitsu from the from Japan to his point of view for a small man like him and make that uh, effective for the Brazilians uh, fighters. Thank you very much. That's great. We got more questions in a few minutes.